but let's talk about this shot, this rise that's going on with you. What does it feel like? It's, it's kind of insane uh, in the best way, but you know, I don't feel like I'm actually feeling all of the, you know, the magnitude of the KB2 hitting because you know, we're kind of still in this quarantine mode. So I'm not going anywhere, there's no events, everything is on Zoom. So um, I'm just seeing it rise on social media and see number one in the world on Netflix, which is awesome, you know? So I, uh, it's, kind of, it's nice, it's kind of like a subdued, like slow burn and I'm here for it. Get ready when quarantine is over, buckle up, Taylor. This is gonna <laughs> yeah. get wild. I was stalking you on Instagram and oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, what did you start with before Kissing Booth followers and where are you now? Oh, okay. So I started, uh, I think I had 30K and then the trailer dropped and I had 70K and then the movie dropped and within, what is this? It's been a week and a half and I now have almost 4 million uh, followers. What's it like keeping up with all of that? It's so hard. I mean, I really try to do my best to keep up with, you know, a handful of the people that reach out to me just because, you know, I, I feel like if I was on the streets, if I was going to a coffee shop, I would run into a few fans and, you know, you kind of give them the love that they want of, you know, uh, just to talk to them about the movie. And so we, we have, I don't have that opportunity right now. So um, I've been, you know, giving people my, my phone number uh, online and they've been texting me and I've been sending pictures and it, it's been cool. It's been a really, uh, you know, exciting moment. Uh, what are most people asking for? Because I love all the shirtless photos. Are they like, they want an autograph or something fun on that? You know, people have been really respectful. You know, no one's like sending any, you know, weird imagery to me. Um, like, you know, they're sending, you know, um, you know, little paintings that they've made of me or, uh, you know, stencils or, you know, pencil drawings. Um, they just say, Team Marco, they want me to respond to them. They want me to FaceTime them. They want me to, you know, put like a mask, like, hey, can you put a mask in the frame and take a picture with you? You know, something like that, just to make sure it's really me. Um, so someone asked yesterday to, to take a picture next to a lamp. It was pretty funny. And the fans really want you. They want Marco with L, and they want you with Joey. What <laughs> is going on? I know, I know. I know. We went away this weekend um, for uh, some friend's birthdays and her birthday, and everyone kind of freaked out about it. Um, but I, I will say that we are not dating. Uh, you know, we... We just became really close uh, during filming, but then we, we became even closer um, after filming because we live really close to each other. So, you know, I think we're like a three or four minute drive from each other. So we've been kind of like, we're each other's accountability partner during quarantine. So we got to hang out, make sure that we weren't, you know, seeing anybody outside of like the circle of people that, you know, we trusted. Um, so we just became a lot closer. And uh, especially like this lead up for the movie, we got, we got to do press together and go back through all of our dance tape and. It was, it's just so rewarding to see how, how hard work actually pays off. What's your favorite thing about Joey? Ooh, oh. <laughs> she can make me cry laugh. She is hysterical. Like anything she says is not intended to be funny, but she just cracks me up and she has this really funny laugh um, that just makes me laugh even more. And I just, I think that's my favorite thing. And also, her dedication to food, because I love food. She loves food. She loves cooking me food. And uh, uh, that's, a, that's a great relationship right there. What's your go-to? What's the favorite meal she makes for you? Oh, what did she, what did she make? Um, she made these, this bomb pasta uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, that, was, that was her go-to. But, you know, she doesn't really have a go-to, I'll say. She, she um, looks at recipes all, all day. She'll send me them on Instagram. She'll text them to me. She's like, hey, I want to make this. What do you think? You know, she made these like buffalo mozzarella um, cheese pasta things the other day. Like she just, she's nonstop. Like she should have her own cooking show. I'll, I'll be on the cooking show with her. I think that'd be a blast. Was the chemistry instant between the two of you? Because it certainly plays off on screen. It's so important. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I would say it was. I mean, I was auditioning for this for probably two full months before I got a chemistry read with her. And she walked in, I think she had uh, like these, uh, what is it called? Like an overall, like a jean overall on. And she had really short hair and I think like a flower in her hair or something. And we just had, it was, she's just so sweet and like gave me all of herself in that moment. Um, and you know, some actors don't do that. You know, some actors try to sabotage you in a chemistry read because they want their friend to get this job. And you know, Joey was, um, was just so down and you know, and then we went, you know, we had rehearsals and then we kept doing rehearsals in South Africa. And then we were on set nonstop together. And we just had to be, we had to be great with each other because 
you know, it's kind of like in Dirty Dancing, how they're kind of forced to be together. And, you know, you have to learn this dance. And that was kind of how we were. Um, you know, she forgets something, I'd fill her in. And I had to do it like the reverse of it because, you know, that was her side of things. And then vice versa. She's like, no, no, I think it's da, 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 da. And again, she would count it out for me. Like we just had, it, it was so effortless. And I'm, I'm like, anyone that I work with after uh, this, these projects, I'm just going to have the highest expectation. I love that you mentioned Dirty Dancing. You're like Baby and Johnny. <laughs> you do the lift. I, you know, sometimes she does run at me and she goes, lift me. And I'm not sure if she's going to like jump at me like this or if she wants me to do this. So uh, we, have, we have to work on that. Uh, so the audition process sounds kind of daunting. At the time going through it, when did you know things were starting to click? Or was there a moment you thought you weren't going to get it? You know, I had... A moment. Um, I think I, I want to say January seventeenth. If I do this chronologically, I won't get confused. Um, I think January seventeenth, I had my first audition, and then um, our casting directors, Kamala and Gary, were just so um, you know into me in that moment. And you know, sometimes this happens when the casting director will bring like their other casting director in, and so they gave me some more notes. And she probably worked with me for about thirty-five minutes. And I'm you know outside. I feel so bad in the room. I'm just having so much. Um, compassion for the other actors in the hallway because there's you know guys auditioning for Marco there's girls auditioning for Chloe and I'm in there for half an hour and I'm always that guy you know waiting outside like oh my god are they done oh my god what are they doing so we had the 17th and then I came back the next day for a director session and then a couple weeks went by had another director session and they were in in South Africa already Vincent Michelle then had another one with a chemistry read um I think there was about five different times and it was intense I I feel like it was so hush hush that they couldn't give my reps even like he's the favorite or, you know, you know, it's, it's totally his. They were, mom was the word and it was, um, it was rough. And I had other projects, you know, there's a, another project on uh, Netflix coming out, I think in like a couple of days that I was up for too. So. Uh, what was that one? Uh, Work It with Sabrina Carpenter. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of funny because Joey and Sabrina are friends and I saw her um, on like a FaceTime the other day and I was like, yo, I was almost in your movie, you know? <laughs> How did you hear the news? And did you call Joey right after since she was so great in the audition? No, I didn't have Joey's number, um, but I was in bed and my lawyer, manager, and agent called me. And usually they only call in tandem, you know, when, when something good's going on. They never really call you to, to give you bad news. So they called me, they told me I got it. I think Lena Rockman, who's my, who's my manager, she was like, baby, we got it. You know, and she's just like, yeah. And, I was, you know, it was like 9 a.m. on Sunday. I think I went out the, the night before. It was, um, <laughs> and, and it was awesome. And we went straight into rehearsals, like, the next day. Uh, so then I got, I had dinner with Joel, and we kind of just hashed out, like, who we were, what we were into. And I was like, look, this is me. If you want to be friends, awesome. And he's like, this is me. If you want to be friends, awesome, you know? And same with Joey. We just, uh, we all clicked so quickly. And I feel like when you have... I'm like, I grew up swimming. And so, you know, it's a, it's a team sport, but it's definitely like an individual, there's individual events, right? So within a movie, you know, we're team sporting with these dance numbers, but then we also have these ensembles um, and you have these, uh, these roles that you go solo or you're one-on-one -on -one, or there's three of you. And uh, it just, I think that, that really, I'm like a big people person. So we were, we just hit it off. I'm so grateful. Did the casting directors know what a triple threat you are with the acting, the dancing, and oh the singing? Oh, quadruple. And playing the quadruple. guitar? Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Okay, let me tell you this. When, when I got my audition, it said, please submit Eurovision, American Idol, and X Factor stars. So when I saw that, I, I, I called my rep, and I said, you guys, this is insane. What do you mean? Like, are, like a Eurovision star? Like, these people, you know, that's like a Kelly Clarkson. That's like yeah. a you know, a Carrie Underwood kind of level of singer. And so I went in um, and I, I called, I, months before I was auditioning for Spielberg's West Side Story. And so that kind of like got me back into it. So it was, you know, uh, choreographed dance after choreographed dance, you know, being filmed with, uh, with a friend doing, um, you know, different numbers for the, uh, for the film. And so that kind of got me going in that direction again, which was awesome. Um, so I called my, my, um, casting director friend, David Rappaport, and I said, uh, dude, I have this callback tomorrow. They want me to bring two songs and a choreographed dance, and I'm really busy, and I, you know, I, I don't know if, you know, I, I have a, a breakfast tomorrow and a dinner tonight, and he goes, shut your mouth, get to work, call your friends, get with your vocal coach, find some songs, and do this. You did this six months ago, why, like, what's wrong? And he goes, are you scared? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of scared. You know, when, 
when they preempted it with, you know, star, your own vision star, I go, what? Yeah, I wasn't on that. And he goes, Taylor, just do it. You're great. I believe in you. Um, you know, I send you to producers all the time. You, you know, I want you on one of my shows always like you're always, you're always one of my favorites. So just do it. So honestly, I couldn't, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have gone to that audition probably if I didn't have that little nudge from a friend. Incredible. It was so great to watch you on that. And take me inside a little bit of the big dance scene because yeah. the, the, choreogra the choreography was incredible. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we, we learned that in Los Angeles. And we had, two, we had two choreographer doubles who knew everything in and out. Like these were like Dancing with the Stars kids that have like competed down there. So they were amazing. And then Paul Becker was our choreographer and he does all these major films and TV shows. Like, you know, he does Riverdale, he has shows on Netflix. So we walked in and just in the middle of the room, there's this, um, you know, DDR machine. And they go, okay, you ready? And Joey and I kind of look at each other and we're like, yeah, okay. So they do this like two minute long dance to Lost in the Wild. And the look on Joy in my face was just. And go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You want us to learn that yeah. today, like now. And they're like, yeah, yeah, right now, now. Like, we'll figure it out. And I said, okay, let's do it. And then we, we learned that like within the week. And then we got to South Africa. We had a whole new rehearsal space, a whole new group of choreographers. We had Natalie, Liam, Alexi, Ruby, like everyone that was learning as we were, as we were going. And we had like five to six hour rehearsals until we started um, actually filming, including table reads, including me like learning guitar and, and you know, getting everything going. So then when we got there, they kept sending us videos from Los Angeles and they kept saying, okay, this is another dance. This is another dance you get to learn. So we were learning dances left and right. Uh, Kissing Booth 3, y'all have already shot. Can you give, are we gonna, are fans ah. gonna be excited about where this one ends? Well, I don't know. That was a sneaky question. Uh, <laughs> that was a very sneaky question. Um, hmm. They will be impressed with Al Evans, I will say. Um, I think the coolest thing about Netflix uh, giving us three of these films is that you get to see this young girl who's figuring herself out um, come into her own and really make her own decision not based on anyone's input. You know, she just becomes this very strong woman um, and you, you kind of see it, you see it developing. And uh, I love that about, about the third, uh, second and the third movie. Uh, but you answered that well. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'll go into politics next. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was asked the other day, uh, what, what, are three, like, what are three words you can give? And uh, I said, you know, drama. I said pre-college, post high school. And I said a little bit of summer. So that, that was all I could say. What about love? What about, I want love connection. I need to know where Ellen's at. Yeah, there's love. I mean, if you, if you see at the end of, you know, the second movie when um, the, the actor is Kai Luke Brummer, uh, he asks Marco, you know, did, um, they get, come on, dude, like, she's not worth it. And Marco just stares over there and is like, yeah, she is. Like, I feel like that was totally um, giving us a third movie, right? And so yeah. in the third movie, I definitely think we can expect Marco um, still, I don't say pining after Elle, but definitely still interested in not giving up. It's so cool to look where you are now. And I'm thinking back to your career leading up to this. I remember you on Scandal, right? Yeah. How yeah. great was that? What do you remember about shooting that? Oh my gosh, that was, okay, honestly, that was probably one of the worst experiences that what? I've had on set. Yeah, Why? I'm, not, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Carrie was amazing. And, and I had the, you know, she was so giving and loving. Um, but there was one person in production that was really giving me a hard time that was overcomplicating it and it really questioned my abilities as an actor um and and I, you know i think we all need those moments to kind of you know for us to push back and say no i'm supposed to be here i should be here you know yeah. i've trained this hard to get to this point like you're not going to keep me down um so that was that was a, a moment that tested me um, and, you know, it was great to be with all these actors because, um, you know, the acting, um, one of my acting coaches, she actually coaches one of um, the leads on the show. And she just said that, you know, he's lovely. And the whole cast was lovely. It was just the... Um, Interesting. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was a rough one. I had no idea. It's funny that those moments you don't forget, but look where you are now, right? It's all a learning curve. I've been there plenty of times, right? You, know, you just have to, like, silver lining it. Like, you have to take everything 
um, and just be grateful for the moments that you, the experiences that you have. So I was very grateful for that moment. Taylor, before they cut us off, sorry, this is just so fun. Tell me about your uh, mask collaboration. What oh you're doing. my gosh. Yes, yeah, so exciting. Thank you. Uh, so uh, we partnered with uh, Variant Malibu, which is a, a, a tech company that is cuts 98% of fashion waste. So I actually brought a couple right next to me so I can show you. This was like my limited release that I did yesterday, which is now no longer available. Um, it matches so my shirt. I need this. You wear this. You could wear this right now. This is great. Uh, but it's super cool because it's all 3D knitted and there's no fashion waste, you know? So it just comes off this machine. You cut some um, little threads away and like you're ready, ready to use it. Um, it's like CDC approved. Um, awesome, machine washable. Anyway, so all of us are supporting different um, organizations. So I'm supporting El Valor, which my aunt worked there for 32 years and it helps disabled kids oh. and families with disabled um, family members um, just have better lives. And uh, you know, it's, I was at the beach the other day. I have a, I have a disabled, a couple of disabled um, relatives, um, kids and adults. And I just, I was at the beach the other day and I saw, um, you know, a Latin family and they had a daughter uh, that was, you know, um, she was um, disabled and she was just having the best time, you know? She was loving the beach, smiling, laughing. Her, you know, she was so loud. And I could tell that the, the family was a little like aware that she was loud. And I just like smiled. I smiled, yeah. waved and said, hey. And I'm like, you know, this is your world too. This is everyone's world. And you know, it's like, just be you. And, and I just wanted to, to show um, my support for the community um, by, you know, hopefully raising a lot of money to make these kids' lives better.